With all its twists and turns, the race for the Republican Party's presidential nomination has already seemed like a long one, and that's before a single vote's been counted. But it could, could all be over, the GOP's nominee crowned in about a month on Super Tuesday. Or not. Two factors, a fractured Republican Party and changes the GOP's made to its nominating process could collide, causing the fight to go all the way to July, to the floor of the Republican National Convention. That's something that's not happened since 1948. But first, what's the short scenario? It goes like this. The nomination train starts in Iowa on February 1st. It stops off in New Hampshire the following week. Then the campaigns who are continuing their journeys have 10 days to chug along until the South Carolina primary. Nevada comes just a few days later. Then the following Tuesday, March 1st, is Super Tuesday, what some are calling Super Duper Tuesday. What's so super duper about it? Super Tuesday is when the nomination will be settled once and for all, so says the chairman of conservative think tank GOPAC, David Avila. He expects events to unfold this year the way they typically do. After the early nominating contest, only one or two candidates remain viable. The one with the most momentum typically goes on, whether on Super Tuesday or soon thereafter, to become the presumptive nominee. So what's the July scenario? It's a political train wreck caused by Republican voters being so divided, not just between individual candidates, but between the category of candidate they want as president. We'll call these categories tracks. Donald Trump's riding the outsider track, Senator Ted Cruz, the social conservative track, Senator Marco Rubio, former Governor Jeb Bush, and Governors Chris Christie and John Kasich, and others are all sharing the establishment track. To get the nomination, a candidate needs to win 1,237 delegates. Here's how Super Tuesday could be super indecisive. Per new Republican Party rules, all Super Tuesday states must divide their delegates proportionally. If Cruz, for example, gets 20% of the vote in a state, he gets 20% of the delegates. Most of the Super Tuesday contests are in the more conservative South, which may be tougher terrain for the establishment candidates this year. But a state like Texas, which has 155 delegates, could end up putting at least some of their delegates on the establishment's track. Beginning on March 15th, some of the contests become winner-take-all. So an establishment candidate who's behind might focus in on just a few states where he or she's got a chance of picking up some delegates. Ohio Governor John Kasich, for example, could hone in on winning his home state's 66 delegates on March 15th. And if all three paths continue racking up delegates, it's possible that no one track reaches the destination, 1,237 delegates. If this situation appears to be developing at some point, candidates might even turn to an explicit help me stop the front runner at the convention message. Then you'll know the usual nomination process has gone off the rails. That's the short answer.